Hi pals, welcome back. So I know I said a couple of months ago I made a video like I'm back but I'm not doing booktube anymore but then I didn't make another video and now I'm back again and I'm like hey I'm doing booktube again. Basically I am the most indecisive person on planet earth. So with that let's get into the tag. First things first I'm looking down because I'm reading a sheet because I have a brain like a sip and I'm not going to be able to remember the questions and what can you do? <laughs> Question number one, why did you start this channel? Because I have a lot of feelings and nobody to share them with. I don't, there's nobody in my life who reads, apart from like my gran, but she's not about to read Lord of the Rings. So I need to find some like-minded friends. <laughs> uh, I don't know, share the love about books, you know? Question number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Probably not a lot. I'm definitely not the most unique person in the world, but I do have a USP. I have a fat cat who's really cute. Oh, cats are the best. Um, but to be honest, she tries to destroy my books a lot, so she's more like the villain of booktube. But I'll make sure she has some appearances because I mean, you know, cats are dope. Question number three. What are you most excited about for this channel? You know, I just really want to make some friends and get involved in the community and, um, you know, have discussions about books and topics about reading. You know, I think that'd be really fun because I'm chatty, so <laughs> need to get that energy out somewhere. Question number four. Why do you love reading? You know, I really love to just escape to a different world. Um, I think that's probably why I like science fiction and fantasy the best, because real life problems don't tend to exist there. I mean, sure, you have wars and battles and a lot of political drama, but you know, it's fantastical so sometimes you get a dragon and that's balances that out. <laughs> Five, what book or series got you into reading? I'm not sure I can pin it down to one particular book. Um, throughout childhood, uh, I think I most enjoyed things like uh, the Magic Faraway Tree, or Matilda, or The Witches. And then as a teenager, uh, more like Harry Potter and Twilight. Yeah, I know, unoriginal, but I did warn you in like question two that I'm not original and I don't have unique things to bring. <laughs> uh, question number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Uh, I think I would ask them how they A, keep up with making regular content, God knows I need help there. <laughs> and B, how they come up with uh, so many fun and unique topics around reading. And also like how they stay motivated. Because sometimes when I'm in a book slump, that's it. I, I can't read for like a, a, like a few months sometimes. Um, but yeah, I guess just how you keep on top of it. But I guess as you get more involved in the community, you, you know, you get more into it. So yeah, hopefully that'll help work out for me. <laughs> Question number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Like I said, producing regular content. <laughs> I'll try, okay, I'm gonna try my best. Um, question number eight, when did you start reading? I've always read, I think, right from when like my grandmother would read to me, um, and then just as I got older I read to myself. Uh, question number nine, where do you read? Mostly bed or my sofa, but I'm I'm a fidgeter, <laughs> so quite often I just walk up and down my flat with my book in my hand. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not very interesting, sorry. <laughs> uh, question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Uh, like I said before, mostly science fiction and fantasy. Mostly fantasy, I'd say, is my preferred genre, but I do try to read relatively eclectically, so I do dip into other genres and you know try and get a, a wider reading scope because I think it's good to uh to get, it's good to branch out a bit and sometimes you get sick of reading the same thing also I'm a huge mood reader so if I'm not in the mood for something it's a slog <laughs> I can't get through it like the book thief for example I tried to read that a few years ago it literally took me about two or three months it's a fantastic book but I just wasn't in the mood for that kind of thing so yeah mood reader Whenever the fancy strikes me, I read a bit of everything. So I guess that concludes my booktube newbie tag. Um, love to hear any thoughts or re see any other people's videos. I'll sure I'll be scrolling through the YouTubes watching everyone else's. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Can you say hello?
Can you say hello? <gasps> Pretty girl. Hi, hi. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Cats are cool.